Make this, let him catch the ball. Pass to the wing. Freeze. His number one job is to create a double gap for his teammates. So your question. His question is, what's a double gap? That's an excellent question. Give me, you guys come on down here. Right in the corner, offense, defense. You guys go right here in the swing. Ball, give me the ball. In the corner, swing spot right here, offense, defense. Top, offense, defense. Swing, offense, defense. Corner, offense, defense. Classic five out basketball. A lot of us use this with little kids, but it's probably one of the worst things that you can do if it looks like this to start because it's all single gaps. So if he has the ball right here, I'll be you. That is a single gap. That is a single gap. If I try to penetrate into a single gap, it is very easy for you to stunt and recover. That is a hard thing to beat. Cut to the basket. Oh, don't you take away my double gap. Cut. That is a double gap. Who gets first option? The person with the ball has the first option in the double gap. If I drive now, not only do I have more space, if he comes to help, I have more time. Ah, you want to help on me? I think I know what I'm going to do. When I drive into a single gap, they're on me right away. Okay. If I can't create, remember Brian talked about the small advantage? If I have no small advantage, I can't create, now you get the cut to the double gap and you get to play dynamic to create the advantage. And I would have cut, and now we give him another double gap to play into, and he has first advantage. So this concept of double gaps and the way Brian was teaching, the way I teach, is very, very important. And this is all because of the short shot clock. Because you can't wait around.